All right, I'm just gonna feed these fat fucks. <laughs> Good morning. Um, I am taking you guys on a day in my life today. Um, I'm doing some stuff. I'm going to go ride for Soul Cycle, so that should be really interesting. I just woke up. Please look at my hair. Um, I'm gonna get some coffee, make my bed, just brush my teeth, and um, here we go. Bed is made. Time to drink some water. Contacts on. All right, now let's lay out some clothes. I'm gonna wear these, I think, with either this thing. Or, can you guys see that? I'm gonna wear these, which I know that that's like a really dizzy skull. That's what they literally called. With either this tank or this shirt. Probably with this bra or this bra. But I have to bring backups as well, just in case that those are too loud. Sometimes they are for film. But of course, black box. about 10 minutes to kill so I'm just kind of walking around my old stomping yards if you will. It's the first time that I've been downtown where I used to work since March so I'm kind of enjoying the neighborhood right now. Despite the heat people still dress really fucking cool down here and I'm like hello? I am home. I'm still a little bit red. Um, I love doing these little at-home shoots. Gives me a little sense of normalcy with Soul Cycle. It's so hard, you guys. It is so hard taking a break. And I've rode twice now in the last like five months, which is like in the last four years. Crazy. So now it's kind of chill for the rest of the day. I'm mostly editing which is cool. Um, I'm gonna run to the deli, shower, you know, some fun stuff. Take you along. Not in the shower. Let's not, <laughs> let's not get freaky. Hey guys, I'm back. Um, I just got a care package from my amazing parents. And if you didn't know, my mom has been making masks um, to help essential workers and then also for purchase for friends and family. And these are the ones I got. So we got leopard. Spooky. Come on, Halloween. If you don't think we're going to be wearing masks at Halloween, you are wrong. Also, sorry about the cat toy right there in my sandals. Um, orange tie-dye. I mean, this one. Ah! Plain old black, obviously. Some more kind of pride, festive cats. Um, some pretty orange and yellow fly flowers. And then, of course, more pride, bitch. We love. And then Drew got just like gray, black blue and then two cubs ones how freaking awesome are these my mom rocks um if you guys still need masks please reach out to me because she's selling them for such an affordable price and they're such great quality they're all that drew and i pretty much wear other than my outdoor voices ones and yeah she puts a lot of hard work into these so she can make sure that she donates them so let me know oh my god i just had to run downstairs because i have a package leak in my building so when I get a notification that something's delivered, I run, 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 run to make sure I get it. Um, so I just ordered these out of the Amazon new blue light glasses. Cause my other ones just are kind of like dingy. They like weren't working as great. And I think these are pretty cute. They're a little like too, too, too nerdy. Um, they're supposed to be leopard. 
Um, but like, look at this case that they came with, like a nice card case. These are like less than $20 on Amazon. Um, I'll link them down below if anybody is looking for blue light glasses because we're working, you know, on our computers and we're on our phones a lot more right now. So video apparently has turned into like every package I've gotten arrived. So I just ordered a bra from this. Instagram was, you know, targeting me per usual. But look at how bougie this little box is. With this little like garment bag. Look at her. It's really hard for me to find bras, you guys, because the girls are large. But this looks really, really pretty. I can't wait to see how this fits. Okay. All right. Okay, I'm trying not to show too much because it's extremely see-through, like 100%, but this bra is amazing. Um, I can't wait to see how it wears all day. I think I have to like adjust the straps a little bit, but it feels very comfortable and the cup size is right. So we live for that. Um, all my double D plus ladies, if this is really good, I got you. I'm feeling myself. I had to put this new bra on and <laughs> can we talk? Um, I also just wanted to come on because this is part of my current journey, right? So, yeah, I'm putting these on because I'm trying to get serious. About, like, body positivity, right? It's very vulnerable, but I have struggled with, I won't call it an eating disorder because it's never been diagnosed, but I have struggled with disordered eating, and... It stems back from college days. Um, there were probably glimpses of it over time before that, but it really got bad in college. Um, theater, notoriously terrible, actually, um, for people who struggle with eating disorders. So my new thing with body positivity is I'm trying to embrace the size of myself right now. It is probably the biggest I've ever been. Um, it, it might be unhealthiest I've ever been, though. No. If anything, I'm probably healthier than I've been in the past. My size of clothes is just bigger. My boobs are a lot bigger. And these are things that I really struggled with, and it's taken me a long time to even get to this place to be able to talk about it. Um, talk about it openly, candidly, on the internet. But I just put these shorts on, and the shirt, and this new bra, and I was like, I look good. I don't look bad, you know, who cares what size it is? And that's really, I don't know, I, in riding with SoulCycle today, you know, that's been huge for me. I saw a video of myself where I'm killing it. I hadn't rode in months and I was killing it, but all I could look at was how fat I thought my arms looked. And then I realized like how toxic that is because like, look at what my body was doing. A soul cycle class, like do you know how hard that is? In like 45 minutes of a soul cycle class is so hard and to be able to do that and like then to think that people my size or bigger or smaller could then see me do that and be like well she can do it so can I and I, I think that's my point of all of this and I'm rambling to come on in our last vlog you saw us on the rebel the mopeds which have now been suspended two people are dead <laughs> two two people are dead in two weeks so I know I tagged them, and I know I talked about how great it was, but don't. Just city bike. I guess not. Just, it's not okay. <laughs> just don't do it. Um, that's why these vlogs are so fun, though, right? Real time. Real time we, shit. We might die. <laughs> okay, we're going to do some celebrating. Okay, bye. Real quick about the rebel deaths before anybody comes for me. No, that's serious and scary, and we're making light of it because we're like, ha <laughs> could we have died? Um, so that's our way of dealing with it is humor, so don't at me. Thanks. Hey guys, uh, Drew and I are just uh, finishing up dinner. We ordered Shake Shack um, to kind of celebrate editing my makeup tutorial, which will be up before this. Um, that's going up tomorrow morning. I'm so excited, my first makeup tutorial. Um, you guys will have to let me know what you think about that, and... Yeah, we're probably going to watch some of The Order on Netflix. Um, really into some magic shit right now. Oh boy, we got kitty food time. Chicken and sweet potato. Oh, yeah. chicken and sweet potato pate. You guys eat better than us. <laughs> Look at that. Wow, guys. How wonderful. 
Okay, guys, that's it uh, for a little day of my life. Drew has covered his face. We are in bed. We just finished the order, and I'm going to get up early to work out tomorrow. So, bye, guys. See you in the next one.